Hi, I'm Sean Gannett, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about writing linear equations, and we're using standard form here. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. So, if I was given this problem through 1, 2, and our slope is 7, and we need to write this in standard form. Well, the first step really to do that is to kind of write it in point-slope form and adapt it. So, point slope form here, we have uh, y minus, and we want the y coordinate here. So, that's a 2. Then that's equal to my slope, 7. And then we have x minus the x coordinate of the point, which is 1. And now, what we want to do is really try to get all the variables we can to the right. So, that's going to involve some math here, algebra. Distribute the 7 to both parts here. So let's bring down this y minus 2 equals 7x minus 7. Okay? Now we want to bring all of our variables, the x and y, to the left and our numbers to the right. <clears throat> so we subtract a 7x to both sides. And then what we're going to do here, that cancels that out. And then also add a 2 to both sides. Let's bring that number over. We have a negative 7x here plus y equals negative 7 plus 2 as a uh, positive, as a positive, I'm oh, sorry, negative, sorry, oh, negative 5 here, okay? And that is a version of our slope, um, our standard form here. Sometimes people want to make this all positive, make the x's positive, and, uh, or the x value positive. It's up to you. But right now, we are in standard form. Um, if you want, you multiply everything by negative 1, you need to get this. 7x minus y equals a positive 5. Either way, you can get that answer. It's up to you. Um, but we're in the form ax plus by equals c. That's our standard form here. And I hope you learned something. If you did, please subscribe to our channel here and like this video. This helps us make more videos for viewers like you. And as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help to use minute math. Minute math, minute math, when you need help to use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com